Anaseo Ryan Walter is here along with Paul Neat at Suwon World Cup Stadium. Paul? Yes. We watched six games today. We did. And the table's totally different. Completely. It's no. pretty much the exact exactly same. Exactly the same, yeah. yeah. Um, it could have been a lot different. Could have been. At some stages in the afternoon, there was movers and shakers and whatnot. But mm -hmm. yeah, all the bottom four lost. So that stays the same. The top three yeah. won. Yeah. So that stays the same. Yeah. Um, so to quickly run through the scores, uh, Daegu 2-1 against Jonam. Gyeongnam 2, Sangju 1, Jeju 1, Seoul 0, Incheon 3, in, sorry, Jumbuk 3, Incheon 2. You, almost, you, had, you went with your heart. <laughs> Actually, no, for Seoul, Seoul needed that one That's to true. be a Jumbuk win. Um, Suwon Blue Wings 2, Pohang Sealers 0, and then Ulsan 3, Gang 1 0. So, in terms of the league table, uh, it's confirmed then that Jeju uh, made it into the top half of the split. Congratulations to them. Yeah, with their 1 0 win. Um, in the end, they didn't need to win because Gang 1 lost 3 0 away yeah. to Ulsan. And yeah, the, the, the bottom half of the table is pretty much as it was. Daegu obviously got an important win there against yeah. Jonam Dragons. They're now on the same point as Gang 1. Um, who obviously that was sat in seventh place. So, yeah. which, as we talked about pregame, I think is going to work out for Udo Steric because now he has five matches against relegation round opponents, whereas Markao with Gyeongnam, he has five matches left against uh, championship round opponents. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Markao to hang on to that golden boot lead. So, that's one interesting thing to watch post split. For one glorious moment today, speaking of the relegation round, the Dragons were up into tenth place Briefly. when they were up yeah. one nil, but that was swooped away from us fleeting yeah but uh that's what happened league-wide today we saw a pretty comprehensive second half from suan they picked up a 2-0 win here and they came out a very different team in the second half they did and then sc scoring the goal relatively early in the second half mm -hmm. certainly not late on anyway got the game going the game was a bit flat in the first half when it needed something and that goal certainly waking things up waking yeah. up both teams really yeah. I thought Pohang were probably the slightly, the better, slightly the better team in the first half mm -hmm. but C1 they were the most proactive they got that first goal and then mm -hmm. once they got the first goal they looked like going on to get a second and they did yeah. they could have probably got more mm -hmm. Yeah. but in the end of 2-0 win they'll be, they'll be very satisfied with that a couple of point blank saves from Kang Hyun Moo which we'll call those point blank saves maybe misses from Suwon same thing Nodong Gun had a really good second half for Suwon he had a couple of point blank saves himself and looks strong. He's not going to take the starting spot from Shin Hwa Young in Champions League, but I thought it was a pretty good showing for him today. Yeah, he'll be pleased. Coming to side, keep a clean sheet. You can't mm. really argue with that. If he is going to try and oust uh, uh, Shin Hwa Young, which he's not going to, because no. after those penalty no, yeah. heroics in the FA Cup in midweek, he's not. But he came in, he did his job, he kept mm -hmm. a clean sheet, mm -hmm. the, the team won. Mm -hmm. He can't do anything, anything more than that, really. Yeah. Yeah, you can only play the team in front of you, and you can only get the results that are there for you. And, yeah. and Suwon did it today, and I think we talked pre-match a lot about this going into the ACL tie, and I think that this will be a nice confidence boost for that defense, keeping a clean sheet against, you know, Pohang, they've been up and down. Mm -hmm. They do have some results where they failed to score this year, sure. But still, that's a pretty good team that's been on the up for the most part recently, so I think it's a good boost for Suwon heading into Wednesday night. Oh, it's a huge boost. And then for Sojong One, knowing that he can make so many changes to, to, to that team, yeah. and now he'll have a, a, a bit of a selection headache heading into mm. Wednesday's night. He probably doesn't really. He'll have, he'll have an idea of who his first 11 is. But there's been players there that have come in today that have, that have really stuck a claim yeah. uh, to get into that starting 11 on Wednesday. Um, mm. So, yeah, a huge boost for them. Mm -hmm. They'll give them, and not just for Wednesday, but going into the, into the, the last five games of the season. Yeah, absolutely. Because contrastingly, for Pohang, mm -hmm. they came in here, sat in fourth with, with, with the lead over Suwon. Now they're fifth. Does that change the mood? Now what 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 the Pohang have to play for? If if, if yeah. they do lose fourth place, and it is all time to win the FA Cup. Obviously, this is all ifs and buts. But yeah. if they can't get in the ACL, what well, do they have to play for? Yeah, they got to just keep trying to go for the league. Whereas, like you say, I think conversely, Suwon their focus is on the cup competitions that they're in, the ACL and the FA Cup. Yeah, but. It's nice for them to know that they can also throw out a B lineup today. Not really a full-on B team There's, today. No, sure. Still a lot of quality in that lineup. But it's nice to know, like you said, for So Jung Won, that he can put out a different lineup than his yeah, usual he, best 11 and get it done in the league still, where yeah. they don't really honestly have very much to play for. No, they don't. But they're going to use that 
games like today, mm -hmm. those wins and you know for confidence mm -hmm. to try and help with the the cup campaigns, yeah. the the league as it has done for Suwon in the past, not just this season but last season as, mm -hmm. as, as well. Their cup form helped their league form, yeah. and it's going to probably be down to those two cup competitions that are going to save Suwon Blue in the season. Yeah, we thought maybe they're going to challenge Jumbo for the title. Obviously, it hasn't worked out like that. Did not. Frankly, nobody has challenged Jumbo for the title. But yeah, it's going to help Suwon heading into the FA Cup semi-final, whatever that is, and also mm -hmm. the the game on Wednesday against Kashima here in that ACL semi-final second leg. Yeah, and picking up the win today, hopefully some of the folks that came out today will want to come back in just a couple of days and watch them in international competition. So, Well, with, with, with a chance of a final, because yeah. obviously we're in a two-leg final, you know, one of the legs will be here. If they win. If they win. If they, no, 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 we win 1-0. Yeah. We want a K-League team in the final, so come on, Suwon. That's do. like the only time I'll ever say that. It, uh, actually, no, it's fine. Uh, it's good. We're going to... Uh, all right. <laughs> Ready to get out of here yeah, on yeah. that note. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back soon to talk about the split round. We're going to do a podcast about that, and we'll talk about what to look for in each half of the split. Mm -hmm. And there's, there is still a lot on the table, even though the title's been decided, the FA Cup's winding down, there is still a lot to play for in the league. So we're going to talk about that soon. And speaking of podcasts, there is a podcast exclus exclusive out right now with Ivan Herzeg of Seoul Eland talking about the K2 playoffs and everything going on there. And we'll have an ACL preview on the podcast with J Talk podcast this week. So all sorts of things coming up on the podcast here on Facebook, on the website, KayleigueUnited.com. We're all over the place. So yes. yeah. with that, we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to unawkwardly turn off the camera. Good day.